Hello, today I will show you how to re-encode a video at 60 frames per second and greatly increase the image quality in just a few clicks. So first download the natural grounding player from SourceForge, which includes a media encoder. And then for this sample, we're going to use a Territate video, which happens to have only 12, 12 frames per second and is only 420p and we'll increase it to 720p. So we're going to download the video, so I copy the address of the video, open the natural grounding player, download video, type in the address, demo territate, we'll call it uh, title office linebacker, download, There, the video is downloaded. Then we'll go into Media Encoder. I will select the video that I just downloaded. Now for this video, the preset that works the best is the average SD. But for this demonstration, we'll take the, the good SD preset because it, it's much faster. And it, it also will look good. And it will, will increase the frame rate to 60 frames per second. We will quadruple the resolution of the video with an NED3 algorithm. And it's going to do all kind of a complicated work in the background, so we will preview the changes and preview the original. We can look both side by side. You can see that the, the new version looks considerably better. All, all the shapes are, are much better. And also it, it plays much more fluidly. Now it's 60 frames per second. It just doesn't play in real time because it's the, the work it does is, is too much to do in real time. So now we're going to re-encode it in that way. So close the preview and click encode. And then we just have to wait. And there we go. So we have an, a, a new video with a enhanced video and the audio is exactly the same. So the audio is not re-encoded. It's the same original audio. So in this case, the file file size was 9.5 megabytes, the new file size 33 megabytes. So we'll look at the old version so we can compare. And then if we look at the new version, Pew! Yeah, all right, that's it. So just download the natural grounding player on SourceForge.